In this episode, we'll be learning about entities. So the question that we need to answer first, what is an entity in PrestaShop and in Symfony? So it's basically coming from the Symfony. So we need to define it as it's defined through Symfony. So Symfony said that entity is simply a representation of the database table through a PHP object. So it's very similar to the object model that we used with the legacy code of PrestaShop. And the entity is being used by a doctrine, which is an ORM that stands for Object Relational Mapper, that will take this entity, he kind of compile it, and he will populate a table in the database through the lines that we did define inside that entity. So with that said, let's go ahead and say a real example. All right, so what we need to do first is to create an entity directory with uh, an entity class. So in my case, I will really keep the example that we have uh, through the documentation. So under the SRCs, go ahead and create product command. But here I would like to change it to a YouTube command. And by the way, you can really call whatever you want the controller or the, the entity class because it does not depend on anything on our system, right? And let's go back and copy this entire code at this point, paste it. And let's also update this to YouTube. So this must be YouTube. Oh, not YouTube because this is the namespace, my YouTube. And we're good to go. And here we can change this to YouTube again. And here we are missing an O. So let me just rename real quick the name of the file. There we go. So we have, as we said, a plain PHP class containing some private variables, uh, property, sorry. And uh, we have also these fancy annotation, if you notice that. So what are these? They are annotation, smart annotation that uh, are understandable by the doctrine. So for example, when we write doctrine at ORM and slash of for backslash table, uh, doctrine will understand that this class will basically be transformed into a table on the database. And when we do slash entity, you know that this entity is basically Basically the base of a table on the database. All right, so ORM ID, ORM column, ORM generated value, they are basically information about this column that will be inside the database. Same for the product ID, customer name, etc. So instead basically of typing the create table if not exist and all the old school way to create tables, we give Doctrine the mission to do that. I won't get deep into this because we have a good, good website called doctrine project that explain a lot of things so let's get back into our topics and in our topics today is to firstly create the entity and next will be populating that to the database so with that in place now we have some getters here to get uh, the various uh, private properties and finally we have this two array it's like a helper that will return an array of the different uh, attributes all right, so with that in place, let's move on to the next part of our video, which is populating the database uh, table from the entity. All right, so how to do this? Well, in the Symfony, it's very easy. We have a command uh, through, um, through the, the console of Symfony that use Doctrine to populate the... the, the Come on, focus. To populate the entity. So let me go back one step, two step, CD, bin, let's access this. So if I do PHP console and I do doctrine here, I will have a lot of suggestions to do. So for example, we have cache clear and we have the related entity things. Uh, do we have entities here? Okay, they kind of take it away. So let's do entities generate there we go so we have doctrine generate entities and we have also doctrine update entities so we can do a lot of things only if we are on symphony but in our case here we are mixing symphony with prestashop and Relying a lot on doctrine is not a good practice. This is what they did right on the documentation. Fortunately, I will find, uh, so let's do doctrine, press the shop, dump here. Hopefully I could find that page. Do we have a dump? There we go. So 
look at this uh, other doctrine include a few tools including the command to have blah 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 but we strongly warn you about not using them they automatically include a lot of foreign key in which are not compatible with the prestige of database structure mean that we cannot rely a lot on doctrine on speci specifically sorry creating the database and converting these entities into tables so here we have a small blue box saying that we have useful command that we need to execute in order to dump to basically generate an sql code that will allow us to create table in the database through our entities but we do not allow doctrine to touch the database this is basically what does it mean so let's copy this here real quick there we go so it will compile all the entities he will find inside uh, the project and let's search for youtube well it seems like he did not find youtube so i would like to do here um clean the cache because some time again uh, this does interfere with the doctrine and all what's going on with the system itself this may solve the problem because i don't see any possible mistake in my code we have our code there you go so we have create table youtube command and i will copy this entire line so copy it and using any tool to connect to your database and execute that code so here i'll be using uh, a tool called uh, sqlize or sqlace to connect to my uh, database and uh, graphically actually and i will execute this query go ahead and run so uh, it seems like there is no errors and now let's go ahead and see if we have this table there we go we have one called ps command there we go clicking on that and let's go to the structure so we have the id product command id product customer name title content and a grade so that was the second part of our to do here which is popular the entity to the database so the next episode would be so much fun it will be doing the credit operation that was your third episode thank you for watching and see you in the next one